Tales from 2008. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Hope you're doing great. Buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no sunshine. It's gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Tales from 2008, the newest series. Well, at least episode. We'll see if it turns into a series. But I was thinking about something earlier, and it really I've seen things unfold right now. We used to always talk about how this time is different than 2008. The loans are stronger, or whatever we could to sugarcoat it. Back in 2008, there's the cheerleaders, the sugar coaters, the snowflakes, the bubblegum. There was all of that, and they went down with the Titanic. <laughs> And I even suffered a little blowback. I drank some of the Kool-Aid in 2008. That's why I'm here. One of the reasons I'm here with you today and that. And I just enjoy helping people the best of my ability. And so thank you. If you'd like to help people, just subscribe, comment, get involved, help spread the message as we as we spread economic awareness. And just so you know, friends, you are the minority. If you're here listening today and understand the things we're talking about, the waters we're swimming in, the perfect storm that's been created to deliver the knockout blow to the economy and the asset classes, and yes, the housing market, the biggest asset class in not only the U.S., the world. The U.S. housing market is the biggest asset class in the world. That's why I have the, all the foreign investors pouring in, pouring in. Unfortunately, we overheated it, and this time it was in spectacular fashion and in a stimulus era and with their debt sheet where it is and U.S. savings rate at an all-time low and people don't even have $400 in the savings ca- account. And I can go on and on and on and on. Headwinds. Throw that dart at an economic challenge map. We're hitting something. Whew. But today we're going to do Tales of 2008. Back in 2008, I had a buddy who was a realtor. And he just poured into the markets like it was the thing to do, leveraged himself to the hill. Everything went sideways. He started throwing stuff overboard. And one of his last ditch efforts is he was going down with the Titanic when Titanic because he finally got to that point where he realized he was done. And unfortunately, that guy, it did not end well for him. And he was one of my best friends at the time and i feel really bad for him because it, it, it that 2008 he didn't rebound from it at all and one of the things that he did was compromise potentially uh, integrity a little bit as he went out and he went out he knew he was going to be filing for a bankruptcy and that he was going to be losing the house and so he went out and bought a brand new car knowing eventually he was going to protect that purchase with a bankruptcy Finally, at least that was his plan. I don't know how it ended for him, but I just thought that is so stupid. He's like, yeah, dude, I'm going to go buy a brand new you know, Escalade and I'm just going to file for BK. I'm going to include that. I've been talking to my lawyer. Okay, okay, I hope that works out. That sounds shady to me, dude. Sounds shady to me. My advice is go live in a cracker box temporarily until you can figure things out and then come back bigger, better, stronger, meaner, leaner. Like Scott Walters, like he's telling his people to do but no he did it and now he's in a world of hurt marriage went away poor guy poor guy um everything he just lost it all so today or not today recently i saw another friend of mine a younger guy he's probably i don't know he's 10 years younger than me at least maybe more new baby um worked in you know decent job and then uh relationship when has started experiencing strain probably economic components always contribute you know 50 percent of all marriages end in divorce and it's usually money money is a big one that causes a lot of these ones right so he's telling me hey, he had a perfectly nice uh vehicle and he's like i went and got a new and he took a leave of absence like a medical leave of absence from his job and while he's on he was bored apparently he went onto the dealership and his car that was basically still being financed but a low payment and close to paying it off he goes and re- gets under a new car double the payment with while he's on leave of absence from his job then he's moving back his relationship dissolves new baby and he's living back with this parents tales of 2008 and just like my friend in 2008 the realtor that didn't make it that thought he was just going to go buy as much as he could and then wrap it up into a bk filing bankruptcy filing everything just fell out for him nothing went according his plan his plan was not a sound plan if your plan isn't built on solid fundamentals it's not going to last if your plan is to try to trick the system it's not going to work you always have to have a sound plan for it to work. Anything less will not work. Take it from me. And the story I'm telling you today. So what we're seeing now, like my friend in 2008, who lost everything, my new friend, who's now, I'm watching the same thing over and over with people expecting a different result. He 
expected a different result. He thought somehow this was going to be different. And that 2008 buddy, I remember he landed on his parents' doorstep as well. Horrible thing to land on your parents' doorstep. That is no, no fun. I remember in 2008 era when I started to experience a little bit of that. I was like, in the back of my mind, I told myself secretly, I never announced it to others that I can remember. Well, if it got bad enough, I guess I could always just, you know, go stay at the folks' house for a while. You know, I was, too, but I was a fighter. I fought and I fought in a way that made sense. I didn't try to burn anybody. I just tightened my belt and did what I had to do. And that's why I always hear on this show. Tell people it's not as important to own where you live. It's just important to own. Sacrifice now. Right off into the sunset later. Live in that cracker box. A lot of us are judging our insides by other people's outsides. We think we need to go buy the right property and look the right way on the outside. And these are the people in 2008 and in 2023-24 that are going to suffer the blowback because they went and financed bubble purchases and brand new cars with these big payments and now a shrinking economy that's clearly facing massive massive headwinds and final thoughts that come to you as a friend as a content creator somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate win in life understand the waters you're swimming in now they're shark infested 2008 welcome back to the swimming pool we have a new hybrid version of 2008 playing right out right now if you read between the lines and look between the cracks hopefully that's where this channel comes in because i don't do too much of a deep dive of the data in the tea leaves. Although I've seen and read them all, I know for me just as a trained salesman and somebody who's lived through this for a while and has been around a while, that you have to look outside of those to get a proper read on what's really going on. Please start looking around on what's going on around you. Don't get paralyzed by the tea leaves and the data. They're, gonna, they're a lagging indicator and they're only gonna tell you part of the story, not the whole story. Make sure your financial fitness is on point. If you're buying today, make sure you're in the right hands of somebody who doesn't need that commission. They work in the industry because they want to serve people. If we do these things and continue to remind ourselves of it every step of the way, I know we're going to come out all right. How do I know that, you ask? Because it's been my experience. Appreciate the content. I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video. If you'd like, contact me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.